Hello and welcome to another Stony Ridge Ag Services video. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about rolling your soybeans. Um, we would strongly recommend that all the soybean fields get rolled. It'll, we're going to be cutting them quite low at harvest time, so it'll help punch down any of those stones and also just give a smoother field finish. Now there's kind of two main options in terms of timing for when we roll our soybeans. So we can roll either right after the seeder or if we can't get out in the field or the conditions aren't very good, then we're gonna to wanna to wait until the soybeans are have their first trifoliate leaf, which we'll discuss more later. But if it's a time in between when they're just emerging, they can be quite brittle and rolling is gonna snap off the stems and will damage those soybeans and they won't come back if they're snapped off. So we want to be really careful that we're not rolling during that critical period. Now in this field that we're in here, these soybeans were rolled right after planting. And that's really the optimal time, in our opinion, is to get it right after planting, it's finished, and then you're not running the risk of damaging those soybean plants once they're up. However, there are some conditions that may mean that rolling right after would not be optimal. And the main issue would be if we get a rain after planting before we get out there and the soil conditions are quite wet because we could run the risk of rolling it and creating a crust on the soil and those soybeans have to push up the cotyledon through the soil. And if there's a crust there, they might have trouble breaking through and we could have poor emergence because of that. So if it has been a few days since planting and we're thinking about rolling, we want to go out and just check the field to make sure that those soybeans aren't getting close to the surface because as they get near the surface they'll be in this hook stage so as you can see it comes up with the cotyledon here and it pushes it up in that hook and as it reaches the soil surface then it will unfurl the cotyledons but this in this hook stage it's very vulnerable to snapping so if they're near the surface maybe even if you aren't seeing them poking through we could be risking damage with rolling Two tips for if you're going to have to roll after emergence in your soybeans. The first one will be your staging of your soybeans. You're going to want to roll at first trifoliate or second trifoliate. So this field here has all these plants in it and it's not ready to be rolled. Um, this largest plant here, it's the first unifoliate, so we're not even at the trifoliate stage yet. Um, so right now, if, if this is the biggest plant in your field, you're probably going to have plants looking like this and like this and like this in the same field. So um, it's just showing you that if you do roll at this stage, you're going to have a lot smaller plants, plants even in the hook stage. And the second tip is going to be the time of day that you're going to roll your beans at. You're going to want to roll them in the middle of the afternoon when it's the most heat, just that your plant's the most flexible and you're not running the risk of um, wrecking the stems. So to recap our video today, in terms of soybean rolling, our preferred timing is going to be right after planting, unless conditions prohibit us from doing that. Our second option, if we can't get out there after planting, is going to be at the first or second trifoliate stage in the middle of the day when we have lots of heat and the stems of our soybean plants are flexible. Thanks.